Hey guys, Lord of here, and welcome back to Nascar Thunder Tales and 4 Race 2736 Season 2 of the Career Mode. We're going to New Hampshire today. It is the final 10 races of the season that we're heading into right now, and I set a goal for myself like 15 races ago or 10 races ago. I can't remember the amount or how many races it was, but I wanted to be around 100 points when we go into the final 10 races, and we look at the points. We're, we didn't quite get it, but we're... we're, we're around the, the we're close to it we're 125 points back we're going to races like uh, charlotte and dega in the future where i know we can win and the other races we just kind of you know just have to do the best but we have at least a shot i can at least say that and it doesn't seem laughable so I, i'm just looking forward to it i'm just really genuinely looking forward to it just because this this karuma and everything has been so challenging and so much fun so many peaks and valleys of of happiness anger frustration then being re resiliated like it, it's been a roller coaster in the most funnest way possible i love this game so freaking much oh my god <laughs> all right so so i could stop let's check out the chassis we'll go with number three here engine will go with number We'll go with number one here, and body will go with number two, which is a 71, and it's a car rating of 71 as well. So it stayed the same because we do have a new body that uh, that got finished overhauling. So yeah, so still at a 71, which is good. So nothing gained, nothing lost in terms of car rating. So that's good. So without further ado, let's uh, get into the race, do qualifying, and see where we start. Works his way off the corner. Here we come to the line. Green flag is in the air. The clock has started. Well, damn, we got the pull again, 27-1, and that's about, about a tenth and a half faster than Gordon. So that's good. I don't know how we'll do in. The, I'm sorry, I'm freaking drinking cola. I don't know how we'll do in the race, but we're gonna look and see where Junior is. Jared's six. Junior is ninth. So that's good. So we just need to get a top five. I we just need to be ahead of him. Just race after race. We just gotta continue to to do that. Which I don't know if we can pull off, but we gotta take every opportunity we get. If there's if Junior has a bad one, we gotta just we gotta pounce on like a kitty cat now. Jesus Christ. Me and Jeff Garnes are up in the front row. Let's get this race at New Hampshire underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. The race is starting. 30 laps, starting from the pole, inside line. And I don't know how we'll do on the start. I hope I don't get runned over, but Stuart, I thought it was going to go wide in that corner, but actually didn't. And we get a really good runoff at two, and by God, we're going to clear Gordon. We get the lead. <laughs> I don't know how long that'll last, but... We're, I'm just I'm shocked. All right, let's uh, let's try to keep this going. Can we get a decent run off that corner? Can we hang on to the lead? And uh, we do. We, I mean, we don't think we're good in the straights, but I think the corners are okay. As long as we hang out on the bottom and get a good drive off the corner, we can. I don't know. This um, I'm shocked. Normally I fall apart on the, the start of these races, but here I'm actually not doing that bad. I'm I'm just I'm shocked. Let's let's uh. I'm going to go into sweat mode here and put in some qualifying laps and try to hang on. I think we can keep on or hang on to this lead. We do have at least a good enough car to hold Gor uh, Gordon off. Number 24 is outside. Okay, we're back in second. The six car has got to run on you. Hold your line. You're still there. Careful. You're clear. The 24 car, now low. One mistake, and that's what just—that's what cost me. Fuck! God damn it! Oh god, it's just trying to push the car so much in the corner. Got a junior. Stewart's gonna get by me. Just let him go, and ah, oh, god damn it! Just one mistake. One mistake completely ruined me there. I'm fuck. God, oh, pisses me off so much. I'm just so mad at myself right now, cause like I can't. I don't think I can gain on Gordon anymore. Just. Just, I don't know, I just, I couldn't keep it going. The car, like, it's terrible going in the corner, but in center off, I do get such a good run. It just, it keeps me at bay for now. It just, 
Just, I'm just so mad at myself right now. God damn. Try behind you. Okay, we're clear. Fuel's down to half. Oh God, Jared. <laughs> oh God, messed up the corner a little bit there, and Jared was all over me. Man, just. I can't go in the corners any deeper. Like, I'm already sliding up the track just now, just trying to hang on, and I already fucked up that corner. He ran the back of me. But we got a good run off the corner, so there's that, I guess. But, yeah, we're just, we're just still not gaining on the leader at all. It's just... In the fourth place might be all we can do right now. It's really, um... This is really weird. I was, like, 3.5 seconds back, and now I'm only, like, 2.5. Like, what is going on? Like, I am I... Do I have, like, better tire... Like wear or fall off compared to these guys up ahead of me because I'm I'm gaining on them a lot now, which sucks because it's right at the end of the fuel run. But I don't know. I mean, this is really really odd. I'm I'm a little bit puzzled by how this race is kind of turning out all of a sudden. It's almost like a, a complete 180. There's some leaders coming in. Pin down Piro this time by. Stewart's coming down with me as well. I'm going to try to push it, and we get a little bit closer to him. Uh, no tire, or no, no, not no tires. Fuel, tires, all that. Stewart, oh my god, it's going to kill me. I got held up on Piro. Let's see what our, our crew can do. Oh my fucking god, 16-6. Another sloppy ass, broken, dumb, stupid pit stop that's gonna put us back again. Every time, every goddamn time, man. I, oh my god. Pit stops are cycle through for the most part. I think there's one more guy that needs to pit. But as of right now, we're in seventh and it looks like we might be in P6 once this all gets through. Which sucks because we were fourth before and we were kind of gaining on the leaders just before that cycle ended. Like, we were only like two and a half seconds back, so. We were kind of gaining on them, but it seems like it works, this car works really good in the late part of the race, which we're not going to have enough time, even if. <sighs> I don't know, just that pit stop killed us, but. I think as of right now, we are ahead of Junior. I did see him in the back, so I think he's like 12th or 11th. I think he was like the last person to pit. Somebody's blown an engine up, engine up here, and that's Jeremy Mayfield, so that's not anybody to worry about points-wise. Getting the Chase Montgomery, because why the hell not? And we now are 60 rival with him. <laughs> Sorry, Chase. Are you going to hit me? Okay, good job. And we'll just get by him and pretend that stupid thing never occurred of whatever the hell I was doing to him. <laughs> and there we go. We get by him. And the leader's pitting. I don't know who, who was uh, pitter, or who was pinning, but looked like it'd be Casey Mears, I think. Now the cycles finally went through, and now we're in P5, so we're back to, we're almost where we were before, but like minus one extra spot. I think that was actually Hermie Sadler, I think. But yeah, we're in, uh, we're P5, I think we're way ahead of Junior, so that's very good, but he is on fresher tires, so that gets me a little bit worried. I think Jarrett's just up ahead of me, so we got him to worry about, but as far as winning this race, it's, it's not going to happen. I had good hopes first couple laps, but it's not really happening now. I think uh, fifth place is all we got, unless we can get by Jared and Mark, which I don't know if we can. For the past couple laps, I've gained a little bit on the leader. I know they're in lap traffic, but the car does seem to kick in in the very late stage of the race. And I'm doing that cheeky thing where I'm, I'm trying to slow down as much as I can so it goes into third, and then I can kind of punch it back in the gas and get a really good jump off the corner. And it's helping me out a little bit. That's like the only loophole you can kind of pull at this track. And it is kind of working, and he, uh, whoever is the leader, it could be Gordon, is getting held up in some pretty decent lap traffic. I don't know if we can, I think we can get by Jared, definitely. We just got to really hit our marks here. And, oh, great, Fittipaldi's right there. That's our rival. That's fantastic. We get back down to third gear, get a good bite off the corner. Now we're pretty close to Jared. We're pretty close to Mark as well. Hopefully Fittipaldi does not run into me, because that's going to just completely mess up my funky flow. And thankfully that doesn't happen. We'll try to get a good run off the corner, off the track, but whatever. We get by those lap cars. Now Jared and Mark are right next to each other. Two laps left to go in the race. Now we're 3.3 seconds back. If only this race was like an extra 10 laps, maybe we could have caught in the leader. But there we go. Get back down to third. 
and there we go got a good run at the corner we're basically exploiting a loophole in the car's ma uh, function and we're gaining some ground here that way Marcus has been losing some, some uh, tremendous spots because of lap traffic and Marcus is terrible luck in general we get off of four and the white flag's coming out one more time around the racetrack Stewart is second we're in fourth we can maybe get to third but I really like I want to get by Jarrett I really do but if the car can't do it I, I can't push it I don't want to spin this car out every point matters but I don't want to wreck it in the process so if we get fourth that'll be fine that's where we were before the pit cycle was going on going through turns three and four for the final time couldn't get the car to go down into third but it looks like we will get fourth spot I'm content with that I think Goran won but that is fine actually we finished just the same as he did in the spring and Gore did win. Junior did get sixth. Uh, Jarrett and uh, Gordon did gain on Junior. Very interesting race. Very surprised how that was playing out. The car was actually getting better as the run went on. Which is very strange. That did not happen in season or the, the first race here. So that was a big shock. So very interesting race. And we get another million in the, the income and all that. So that's very good. We did lead some laps. So we did get bonus points. I didn't even register that but we did get some bonus points we did leave some laps junior did as well but we'll get 165 he got 155 so we gained 10 points uh jared did gain as well so he's going to close that gap on uh, the leader but very interesting race that was a very important one to gain some kind of points i don't know how we'll do with dover but that was definitely a step in the right direction i'm just i'm shocked and also i was surprised how late junior pitted too because he pitted much I don't know. I was very strange, but because of that, it it kept us on to a top five, and we got ahead of them. So, very good race. We did what we needed to do there. We didn't win, but we we finished very well. Next race is Dover, and as you see, I don't have any primary uh, sponsors, so I'm gonna have to go. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to go and fix that. So, what should we do? Finish ahead of Dale Jr. And that's the package sponsor. That's interesting, huh? Damn. Well, uh, <laughs> finish fifth place. Well, unfortunately, I think Food City's going to have to go to Georgia Power. Wait. No, I, <laughs> I can't. I'm looking at the money, but I have to look at the expectations, and it's like, you have to win? Finish first, qualify fifth, and then finish ahead of junior. Like, there's no way we're going to pull that off. We got to We got to go with Food City again. I, I hate to do that, but to get consistent money we gotta go with food city so yeah I, I hate to do that but we gotta keep that going um looks like everything else no wait no that's gone too so oh my god why is food if food city pays out more than all of these you got all right um <laughs> we're gonna go with food city again <laughs> it's like the best paying one okay okay none of these are good here uh, we'll go with Goodyear for this, I guess. That's 43. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Goodyear for that, so. Yeah, most of this car is just basically filled by <laughs> Goodyear. But yeah, next race is Dover. We don't really, we can't really repair anything with the chassis for now. Uh, engines, we can repair one. I just don't know which one to do. But I need, wait, did that thing come in yet? I don't think it did. Okay, it's got one more race for the dyno. All right, so we can't really do anything with building a new engine, but in terms of condition, uh, what should I do? I, I'm, eh, I guess we'll repair with the lowest one for now. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> okay, I forgot. You only can do it one at a time. Bodies is more the same kind of deal. We'll maybe go with. Uh, uh, we'll go with probably number two for the body again. It might be a lower rating this time it might be like a 70 But it should be a little bit better than the first one considering like that was like a mid 60 car. I'm hoping it's gonna be better Point standings where we really want to see how it looks. We're still third in points 115 back Jared did gain a little bit So now it's 62 Goran still gaining as well 136 points back Stewart all of a sudden getting really really good in the last half of the season Moved up from like as far back as 11th in points. Now is up to 7th. Obviously not really within a chance to win a championship, but definitely climbing up there. Harvick, who was really good early on, is falling back. Um, it's, it's It could be a, a four-man race. Gordon's not out of this yet. Harvick on back, I think, are, but 
Har- or Gordon, you know, he has a shot still. And he's been actually doing much better than he's been in the past couple races. Like, look at that, five wins. <laughs> like, good. He's on a tear, so... I don't know. This championship just continues to get in more and more just interesting because it just seems like there's no clear-cut, like, absolutely dominating car. So, it's been very interesting. So, among, like, the three guys here, that's five wins. Five wins for me, so that's ten. Then 14, and then Junior with uh, 18. So, the top four make up half the scheduled wins so far. So, that's that's crazy. So, that's really it. There's nothing else for me to really do. We're going to Dover. We can maybe get another top five. I'll look at the schedule here and see. Because after New Hampshire, I don't know what... I, or, <laughs> ooh, Talladega's after Dover. So we can definitely win there and gain more on points. Kansas, we're going to fall apart. Then we got Charlotte. I think maybe Rockingham. We have a, at least a, a shot. Considering we did really well in se- uh, the first race earlier this season. So I think maybe we can do well there. I can't guarantee it. I do love the track, and I do love racing it, so maybe that'll play a factor, and I can maybe squeak out a win there. But I know Charlotte and Talladega, I can definitely get a win there. So these next couple races are going to be interesting because I would love to gain more and more points, even if it's just little increments like New Hampshire is perfect. So thank you for watching. I'm sorry I was talking for so damn long. It's just... <laughs> I'm just so engaged in this career mode at this point. It's so fucking good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate it. Love you back and support all you guys. Give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. I will see you all at Dover. And as always, have a good day, everyone.